What up guys, SNK here, and today we're going to be doing some Hearthstone Arena. So, I haven't played much Hearthstone since I've installed it and opened my packs, and I figured uh, it's a good night for some Arena. So, let's kick this off here. We've got three choices. Either I can be a Paladin, a Rogue, or a Mage. I actually don't like the Paladin's playstyle too much. I don't know about his cards a ton. I know he's got a lot of buff cards. Not my thing. It's either between the Rogue or the Mage. I never played a lot of Rogue in WoW, nor Mage in WoW, and I always hated Rogues, but I think I'm going to play one today, what just for shits, your... and see what we can do here, see what we can get. For those of you not familiar with Arena, basically you get three different cards. It's like a draft in Magic the Gathering. You get to choose cards, and you make a deck, and see what you can come up with here. So hopefully I can get some decent cards. Uh, let's see, Master Swordsmith, then you turn and give another random friend a million one attack, that's pretty good. Uh, the SI-7 Agent, 3-3 three, three for 3, that deals 2 damage if you've played something before this turn. That's actually a really good card. And I've got 3 really good cards here. I'm gonna go ahead and go with the SI-7 Agent because I'm a rogue and these are generic cards. So I'll probably will see more of these than I will the uh, rogue cards here. And Rick Games is always good. Uh, preparation, I'm not sure how I feel about that. Because you're losing card advantage essentially. Um, I'm not necessarily going to build a pirate deck, so we're not going to go here. And, uh, I'm definitely going to get the Patient Assassin. Definitely Patient Assassin. Kill anything. And, basically, I've got, uh, three different cards here. I'm not, uh, I'm not a huge fan of this guy. I think, uh, 2-4 four for 4 within, uh, with another creature is okay. I feel not great at 4 mana cost, though, but I do really like the Loot Hoarder. Well, but I also have the, uh, Battle Cry from here, so... Uh, ooh, this is tough, because if I play cards that return to my hand, if I get something like that, then I can play with the Novice Engineer a little better, or I can go Loot Hoarder and play a little more offensive and trade cards. I'm going to play it safe, since I don't know what I'm going to get. See, yep, definitely going to get the Device Ringleader. Corehound I do not like, I think it's a pretty bad card overall. This card I really, really don't like. And a 2-2 two, two for 2, but you combo and summons a 2-1, that actually is a good deal. Uh, I really like that card a lot. Uh, I don't like him, really. He can be useful in some decks. 1-1 one, one Divine Shield is okay. Swamp Ooze, depending on my matchup, I'm not going to know what it is. Uh, let's see. I can make a deck kind of revolving around putting in tokens. Uh, 4-4 four, four for 5, not a bad deal with the 2-2 two, two Squire. It's okay. I actually like the Elven Archers more than a lot of people do. But I think the Iron Fur Grizzly is going to allow me to protect some of the things that I get. 3-3 uh, three, three, Taunt for 3 is a solid deal. Uh, whenever you play a card, gain plus 1, plus 1. It's an okay card. I'm trending very early game. A lot of early game stuff. I uh, do not like Arcane Golem. I think he's a kind of a pile of shit. And the Stampeding Kodo. I'm going to go ahead and go with the Stampeding Kodo. Well, well. Whew. Actually, let's go Questing Adventure. Man, I'm going to regret that. Whenever I play a card. Because that would give me some... I know those rogues have a lot of zero mana stuff to do. Oof. I'm going to go ahead and go Stampede and Kodo. Play it safe. Uh, Sap is my first choice there. Give a friendly minion uh, to attack this turn. He's not a bad. He's, he's a 2-1 for 2. But I think I'm going to go with the... Well, because I can use that on something to kill off a creature, and he's also 2-1 for 2. But I'm not going to play him first turn, because then he wastes his ability. I'm going to go with Sap. Uh, give a blood. You're probably going to go cold. Oof. Let's see. Do I have any way of dealing? I do have a way to deal damage to him through that if I had to. Uh, mm. Whew, this is a tough one. I of Pain is really good because you're going to get at least a card out of him. He's a little expensive, but if you can get two cards out of him, he's totally worth it and a little bit of damage. Um, hmm. But I don't have anything to synergize with him at this point. Uh, let's go Cold Blood. Safe pick. There's another Stampeding Kodo. Uh, I might go Sun Fury, Sun Fury Protector. Spell damage, I'm not going to do that because I don't really have anything to be spell damage. So between those two... And let's go ahead and go... That would give me a lot of really good... 3-5 five for 5 with that battle cry is not terrible, but I don't want to get stuck with a whole bunch of those in my hand. That's always going to be good. Conceal. Give your minions stealth until next turn. I can use that as a kill card. 
Uh, I don't like Battle Cry. Uh, gang attack, you will attack of your weapon. Not really. He's okay. I don't really like him. I like the the uh, Iron for Grizzly better. I'm gonna go conceal. Give myself some tricks at least. Oh, uh, let's see here. Um, he's a good late game card. I'm playing very early game it seems, and this is gonna help my combo points. I'm gonna go that. Four two stealth. That's a good card. That's a good card, but this is going to give me some late game and allow me to do something. Sprint's a very, very good card. A lot of card advantage. I don't like Sinister Strike, really. 1-1 uh, one, one Divine Shield or 5-4. Once again, this helps combos, but I don't really... I'm not liking this deck so far. Not really uh, not really digging it. I don't think I've got a real strong deck. I need to build more late game stuff because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be able to get a lot of stuff on the board, but any board wipe is going to kill me. We're going to do this in case they fall behind early. Uh, that's an easy one, Deadly Poison. Not a big fan of that guy. I don't like that guy at all. And a 3-2 for... Looks like I'm going to go... Do I have any minions that have more than two health, really? Not a ton. Ugh. I mean, that guy's not bad, because I'll usually have a weapon. <clears throat> we'll go the healer. Oh, God, I don't like my picks at all. I'm not getting any any, uh, any rares, really. My one rare that I... Or my one... Uh, yeah, one one epic that I got was good. I think we go... I don't really have... I have a little bit to buff him. Maybe I can get the uh, cold blood off on him. <clears throat> um, whew, this is a tough one. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. The guy in the middle is irrelevant, not gonna choose him. Assassin's Blade is really good, especially when you mix it with the Deadly Poison. Because that gives you a 5 damage weapon for 4 turns. Um, but this is also great, great creature kill. Um, I'm gonna go Assassin's Blade. It's more game breaking, in my opinion. Uh, the 2 4 for 4. Turn on friendly from battlefield to your hand. That actually has a little bit of. Yeah, I've got a little bit of synergy with him and with the uh, battle cry. Let's see. That guy is really good, Master of Disguise. Don't need the Azure Drake. Remove one durability from your opponent's weapon. I don't like that guy at all. Cause what if he doesn't have a weapon? That's my easy choice here. I got another betrayal. Uh, that's my easy choice there. Got nine cards left. Uh, Shadow Step. That. Whew. So between Shadow Step and the Cult Master, probably. Uh, the Cult Master is going to allow me to get through my deck quicker. This would fuel some of my combo point stuff. And <clears throat> do I have any Battle Cry? That's good. That's good. Actually, I've got a decent amount of Battle Cry. Uh, we're going to Shadow Step. Oh, God. Man, I want this. Because he's going to give me a card. And potentially trade. Other of your minions dies. We're going to get Shadow Step. Try me a rogue. Try me more rogue. Uh, going to go Defias Ringleader. I think that's pretty easy there. Because he'll still good, but I don't know that I want. I got one Betrayal. Uh, I'm going to have two now. That's a good card. From the battlefield to your hand. I'm going to go Ancient Brewmaster. Give me some late game. D1 damage, draw a card. Yeah, I'm going to save that. And, God, my two drops. I've got so much two. So, pretty much, this is going to be an interesting tech. I Wisp is terrible. Never take that. I'm going to play this and try and set them back. 1-7 Taunt probably isn't the best or the worst thing in the world. The Phantom Knives, the card draws too good. The card of Ames is potentially too good there. Um, we're going to try and play card of Ames. Try and play early game. Don't want that. Don't want that. Yes, get myself some more late game. And I've got some stuff. This is going to be interesting, guys. 
This is going to be very interesting. I'm going to hopefully play fast and uh, a lot of card advantage, drawing cards, and overwhelm people. That looks like how this is going to play. I've got a decent amount of creature kill between sap shivs and betrayals to get creatures off the board that I don't like. So we'll see how this goes.